What's up, bro? You've probably been working on yourself quite a lot, and working on yourself is good. Working for your future is good, but we should make it fun. We shouldn't be having a bad time all the time and just in hope for a better future. Yes, you can work towards your goals. However, you should make stuff like this fun in the present. Because in the end, the present is all we have. The future, yeah, we can kind of decide what it will be, but you never know what will happen along the way. So now we're here in the present. So how can we start enjoying the day-to-day -day life more? How can you make studying for a project more fun? How can you make working on that business way more fun? I'll talk about all of this. I'll first give you some insights and then I'll give you some actionable steps. So let's go. So right now you might be thinking that once you've accomplished all your goals, you've got that money, you've got that body, you've got that girl, then everything will be better. It won't. Keep this in mind. We don't have to neglect our goals. I don't neglect mine. I have my goals myself. But I try my best to make, well, the journey way more fun. We first have to detach ourselves from the outcome. To take myself as an example, I can think one day I'll have thousands of subscribers and it'll all be great. That's the outcome. However, if I think every single day, I get to help you. You see how this can motivate me in the present and this and how this can make me well happy in the present or for another example chances are you work out so instead of thinking one day i'll have this body you should think every day i get the chance to become stronger and well get a better body and there's a lot of fun in thinking that too what you can do right now or after this video is grab your journal write down your goals if you don't know your goals then you can check out my video about how to find direction and purpose in about three minutes and i want you to think about those goals or your purpose and think what makes it nice in the present for example let's say your goal is to bench 100 kilograms think about how fun it is to become stronger and train harder every single day let's be honest whether we want to admit it or not we all want to make more money so instead of thinking about how you need more money think about how many possible ways there are to make money me helping you can make me money and the thing is i love helping you so why don't i just make money off of it you see how i grab my goal here see what's fun in the present this is where you get those depressed millionaires because they set a goal of making x amount of money without thinking about if what they're doing is actually fun and well that's literally what they're doing 90 percent of the time you see the logic here all right so there are two things that are very important to keep in mind those things are justice and courage this is why you're gonna need justice you've actually got to give some value to some people look it's okay to have goals based on your own desires however actually being able to help people will motivate you way more and i know right now you're thinking oh this guy is telling me to well make goals based upon other people but listen up real quick all right so just imagine my point of view i'm standing here in this forest and just imagine that everyone is suddenly dead there's no people in the whole entire world i'm just standing in this forest alone here to be honest i'll probably still be making this video and that's because i just really like doing it however i probably wouldn't be very motivated this is because you aren't watching the video and that means that i can inspire you that means i can help you and that's something that's built into us we want to have a function in this world back in the day you had people who would hunt you had people who would cook you had people who would grow crops so think how can i give some value to people while still working towards my goal if you have a fitness goal and then you can give your tips along the way in maybe a blog or something or in a youtube channel if you have a creative passion just like me and you like filmmaking then you can try to incorporate your filmmaking into something like once again a youtube channel to inspire others all right so god's gonna give you some challenges and this is where courage or discipline comes in you see you've probably been watching this video quite comfortable maybe you're like three minutes in and you're just chilling i had to go through drinking black coffee trying to focus as much as i can to give as much value to you whilst trying to write this video idea i had to get over here in this forest to well get a nice location and in between every single shot i've been looking like 50 minutes to get at least a decent angle by being stung by weird insects and mosquitoes and animals here And this is gonna happen with you too. Maybe you won't be stung by mosquitoes, but you will be challenged. And I believe God does this for a reason. So you must push through those challenges with courage and discipline. And that's how you're gonna get further towards your goals. Uh, this is what I mean. All right, so number three is gratitude. Or in other words, just stay a little bit positive, bro. Otherwise, what's the point? If you constantly keep complaining about all the things you don't have and you don't get yet and everything that's hard, then you can just go fuck yourself. Like honestly, why aren't you just happy with the challenges that you're going through? See them as an adventure, make a plan, make a strategy, learn from others, learn from books and try to solve the problem. There's probably been a moment in your life where you suddenly decided that you wanted to do something different. Maybe you suddenly realized that there's more to life than just a standard path. And now you're going through all these challenges suddenly and life seems completely different. And you're complaining all the time. God gave you this life. And this is an adventure. So why don't you make it exciting and adventurous instead of boring? Just go out there. Try some new things. Learn some new things. Meet some people. Work on your project. Stop crying about all this little stuff. It's not all that hard all the time. Look, if you're born in a horrible country and at the age of three your dad left. And at the age of ten your mother died. And now your brother and sister are dead too. And you try to solve some things but you fell down the stair and you... 
broke your back and now you can't walk then all right i'll shut up i get it but that's not you so stay positive to start try to say something positive in the comments maybe it's gratitude for your desk maybe it's gratitude for the device that you're watching this video on maybe you have gratitude towards me hey i'd appreciate it and if you don't want to comment then just go and hook your mom all right so this might all be a bit too much to take in right now so i've put together a small list of things you can do actually right now in order to get started on this got it with me here let's start with the ones that will actually make your life way more fun you can listen to music whilst journaling listen to some good classical music bro it'll make you feel like a villain maybe invest in a nice pen so that the writing experience actually feels nice if you like coffee or maybe tea i love coffee then during the times that you're drinking that coffee or that or that cup of tea then Use those times to really think deeply. Maybe reevaluate your goals in your mind. Think about things that you can do well to make the present more fun. Keeping this video in mind, of course. Another good one which you can do right now, which is actually very fun, is hang up some useful papers on your wall. Some ideas can be your goals, your habits, maybe motivation, maybe reminders, maybe gratitude. I'm aiming for this big wall filled with paper like I'm some sort of detective. Probably get what I mean. You can talk about all of this with others or if you can't really find someone to talk to about then hey just hit me up on instagram and we can talk about life you can maybe if you're struggling with something we can figure it out i'll help you out you can make mind maps to plan out your goals and your plans in life you can thank god for the challenges that he brings you and you can take a deep breath and just enjoy the present moment i'll see you next time